Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Last time, we kicked Team Rocket out of Slowpoke well, learned about Apricorn Balls, and uh, then took on the Azalea Town Gym and got our second badge. Look at it, it's so shiny. Except it's not really, because they, they didn't add, like, sparkles until Gen 4. Because they're lame! Anyways, uh... In the time that has passed between recordings, Kurt has finished making my fastball that isn't going to work properly, but I can sell it, so that's the thing. Okay, I will, I will do just that, possibly. But first, first, we have a Whit Apricorn to grab, for no real good reason, other than might as well, uh... Might as well get him to make another fastball that isn't going to work properly. Thank you very much. Alright. With that out of the way, we can now venture onward to Ilex Forest. Or can we? I mean, they, they, they've kind of returned, but I also kicked their asses, so... Uh... Alright, bring it on! Frickin' ridiculously conspicuous red-haired kid. Let's do this! Alright, that's, uh, not the best matchup to start with, but I can probably, uh, I can probably take it out with a, a few razor leaves. Yeah, it'll only take, like, four hits. I was definitely expecting to get paralyzed there. Ooh, beautiful! And all right, sure. Let's uh, do a zubbit off. Let's go, Om nom. Okay, that's a that's a little disappointing, but we can we can still do this. Yeah, flinch. How many flinches can we get? Uh, one is the answer here. But can we break through confusion at least? No. Can we eventually break through confusion at least? Okay, really. Am I seriously about to be out -zubbited? Nope! Suck it! And then there was one. Yeah, Quilava is, uh... That's... Uh, the sprite just kind of looks off. It's mostly the eyes. Or eye singular, because you can't really see the other one. But, uh, I don't know, it just kind of looks weird to me. But, uh, fun fact, I believe, and, uh, I, I could be wrong on this, but if you, uh, if you chose Cyndaquil as your starter, then he will, uh, still have... Can, can we stop missing, please? Uh, if you pick Cyndaquil as your starter, he will still have, uh, frickin'... Uh, Crocona, even though Totodile isn't supposed to evolve until level 18. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of an odd little thing that is a thing and is odd and little. Great. I sure do love me some weak moves that are also resisted. Yes, that, that was my favorite. I'm glad that he at least keeps missing with smokescreen somehow. Yeah, sure, just get all the <laughs> all the bug-type multi-hit moves. And you didn't even have the common decency to poison him, Omelette? Come on. Ow. I mean, that'll, that'll help you survive, 
more embers. Until that happens. Okay, I... That's definitely the first time I've seen the Gen 2 animation for Vital Throw. I didn't even know that was in Gen 2. I thought it was only, uh, I thought it was Gen 3 and... and beyond. Also, yay for healing. <laughs> Here we go. That's how we do it. I also didn't think Bone Rush was a thing until Gen 4. So I'm just learning about all kinds of moves here. Come on, can we kill it? Can we kill it? Can we kill it? Can we kill it? Damn it! Fine. Switch to my frickin' plant monster. Yeah, that's that's fine. You go and throw up a smoke screen. I'll probably miss a couple times, but eventually hit you. Yeah, yeah, there's there's one. That's gonna hurt. I don't appreciate that, but uh, we'll we'll make do. Uh oh, maybe we won't. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Is it your Pokemon, or is it you? You are a douchebag, you're a dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. Alright, now, uh, now that he's out of the way, we can move onward to Ilex Forest. See it? It's a forest. It's very dark. Hello. Rut row. Oh no, not the far fetched. Whatever will you do? Yeah, it's too big, dark, and scary for that ten year old child, but for this one, it's okay. Hello. Qua! Our nose. Well, uh, here's the one new Pokemon that we can catch here. Paris sucks. No, seriously, this is it. Paris is an awful Pokemon. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's got a, it's got way too many weaknesses. It doesn't get that many good moves. It's, uh, in later generations, it's the only Pokémon that has a five times weakness, specifically to fire, because of, uh, one of its, uh, possible abilities, Dry Skin. Okay. But, um, this... Paris here will be will be handy for a very small amount of time. If we can catch it, if it'll stop breaking out of the Pokeball after three shakes. Please? Three times in a row! Come on! I don't want to be here all day. I want to do other things. Like, apparently buy more Pokeballs is one of the things I want to do. There we go. Yeesh. Paris, the mushroom Pokemon. As its body grows large... Oh, uh... As its body grows large oriental mushrooms, or as its body grows large... Oriental Mushrooms. I don't know. As its body grows large, Oriental Mushrooms named Tochikaso start sprouting out of its back. Okay, I guess it, it was as its body grows large, Oriental Mushrooms zip into pants. Uh, and no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name it, but I am going to 
Like I said, I am going to keep it in the party for a little bit longer. Um. Oh, sweet. Revive. I like revives. They're handy, unless you're playing a Nuzlocke, in which case they're worth 750 Poké Dollars that you can use on potions of some variety or just more Poké Balls. Whatever you so choose. Uh, but anyways, uh, basically what we want to do here is lead Sir Fetched back to uh, his... I was going to say his master, but that's more so his master's apprentice. And then he crashes into a tree like a dumbass. And then we run into a Thingus. Wow, I've been getting exceedingly lucky because Paris is, uh, I believe only a 5% encounter during the day. So, uh... Yeah, running into two of them in the first three encounters is pretty ridiculous. Hello there, child. Well, maybe you should get one of those then. How about that? Have you ever thought of that? No. Apparently you haven't. Qua! Ah, my far-fetched. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you there are actually two far-fetched you have to catch. And their names are Far and Fetched. Yes, actually. Yep, because Far Fetched is the only Pokemon that can learn Cut. Speaking of which, HM1! Guess which guess which move that is. Spoilers, it's Cut. Well, I just so happen to have that. So. I feel... I, I feel like it's probably going to be a good idea to teach that to our good buddy Paris, who is holding an item that I didn't notice because I haven't gone into the Pokémon menu yet. What have you got? Tiny Mushroom! Didn't know those existed in Gen 2. Uh, that, I believe, is only really good for selling, so uh, I'm gonna go and do that and also buy more Pokéballs. BRB. $250?! What a rip-off! And the people in their far-fetched have just kind of disappeared. Alright, cool. Anyways, I... Anyways, I uh, bought 20 Pokeballs, so I'm pretty much set for that. And one of my favorite features uh, in terms of uh, improvements from Gen 1 to 2 you can just press A next to the tree, and it'll just say, Do you want to cut this tree down? Yes, yes I do. Thank you very much. Uh, so there is one more thing that we can find in this forest, in terms of Pokémon, but it's only available at nighttime, and that is Oddish. Uh, Oddish is another Pokémon that got a new evolution in this generation. Uh, so you can either use a Leaf Stone to evolve it in into Vileplume, or you can use a Sunstone to evolve it into Bellossom. Uh, I think Bellossom is more based on special defense, whereas Vileplume is, uh, based on special attack. And... Hooray for remembering where hidden items are. Love it. But yeah, I, I personally prefer Vileplume out of the two, but... It's not... It's very much not easily obtainable in this game because of how stupidly they, uh, did the evolution stones in this one. Also, if you're playing Crystal, you can find, uh, Venonat and Psyduck in this forest. So, uh, that, that's a fun time. Why are there Zubat here in during the day but not Oddish? This doesn't make any sense. So if we come around here... We will run into a dude with bright green hair. Why do you have bright green hair, sir? And he gives us TM2. TM2 contains Headbutt, which, uh, unlike in Generation 1, can actually be used uh, in the field rather than just in battle. 
I am giving this thing straight to Omelet because it needs a move that is not, uh, Metronome. Not that I don't love Metronome, but... It, it needs something for when I run out of metronomes. So, uh, in terms of what Headbutt does in the field, you can go up to one of these uh, small trees here. I would love to Headbutt this tree. And sometimes, a wild Pokémon will come out of it. Such as Weedle. And, uh... Yeah, you, you guessed it. There are going to be several new Pokémon that we can find from these trees. I believe there are five, to be exact. So, uh, that's, that's going to be fun. Yeah, not, not Weedle again. I don't care about Weedle. So basically, there are uh, two different types of uh, headbutt trees. There are ones that... Uh, you, there are ones that uh, commonly have Pokemon come out of them, and ones that uh, have it have them come out not so often. And uh, they will have two uh, two different sets of Pokemon come out of them. So I'm thinking this is probably one of the common ones, but it's I don't know. You kind of need to use trial and error for that. Well, here's one. I swear, I'm gonna wear out the A button on this frickin' thing before I'm done here. Apom is a terrible Pokémon! I'm getting really tired of saying that things are terrible, but, uh, it's, it's very true in this case. It's... I don't know, I'm, I've never actually used an Apom on its own. I've only ever used its evolution. But it doesn't get that until Generation 4, so, uh... Swear to God, D-Pad! Okay. Down. And not right. Thank you very much. Eh? 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 Eh! Okay. Apom, the long tail Pokémon. It lives atop tall trees. When leaping from branch to branch, it deftly uses its tail for balance. Yeah, because it has like a hand on it and stuff. Okay, so... I'm no longer convinced that this is one of the rare trees, because I've been getting nothing but Spearows and those two Apoms from it. But it's also been giving me like almost no encounters, so either I have the worst luck in the world, or I have the worst luck in the world. Either way, I'm gonna switch trees for for the next few rounds and, uh, you know, look for the other remaining thing on this route. Because this is the only route nearby that has said thing that I am looking for. Here comes a uh, hair cross. Holy fucking shitballs! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so, I've been at this for about half an hour or so, and, uh, eventually I just, uh, looked up a map of, uh, where the, the good trees are in my particular file, because apparently this is randomized based on your trainer ID, and mine is absolutely fucking terrible. <laughs> so, I don't have any good trees on routes 33, 32, or 31. I had to come back to Route 30 in order to find a frickin' Heracross. So, uh, if it would stay in the ball, that would be my- mm. Didn't even let me finish my sentence before breaking out, you dick. Also, Jordan's here. Yeah, I'm the good luck charm, haha! -ha! <laughs> so, uh, ah! if you don't capture this... This is... this is an oof. Maybe? <laughs> I mean, that was literally the first... my first time headbutting that specific tree. Thank you! Dun, dun, dun. 
Pokemon. Now I only need now I only need to catch three more things. Heracross, the single horn Pokemon. Usually docile, but if disturbed while sipping honey, it chases off the intruder with its horn. <sighs> Doesn't actually attack the intruder, it just kind of pokes it. Yeah. With the horn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna go back to Azalea Town now. So back in Azalea Town, we're we're gonna shake this tree for several hours, or once that works too. We're gonna run into a Weedle apparently, because uh, even in rare trees, Weedle are still uh, a 50% encounter rate. But, uh, this shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. Weedle. You're, 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 you're a Weedle. You're kind of cramping my style here, Weedle. <clears throat> Thing one. Execute. It's, it's a bunch of eggs. Do not use Execute in Gen 2, because, uh, you won't be able to evolve it for, uh, a while. Because of, again, really stupid distribution of evolution stones. But yeah, outside of, uh, of this generation, Execute is, uh, quite nice. Would recommend in games that are not this. Even in Crystal, you can... It is possible to get a Leaf Stone, it's just not very likely. But, let's, uh, see... How our luck turns out for this one. Nope! It turns out, nope. That, that's, that's how it works here. That's how we do it around here. There we go. Okay, first bunch of eggs caught. First first bunch of eggs out of one, I should say. Execute, the egg Pokemon. Using telepathy only they can receive, they always form a cluster of six execute. Uh that's that's just six eggs. They're are they each their own individual execute? With their own consciousness? Because one of them is uh, kinda dead over there. Whatever. Now, can we find the other two things in a timely manner? Probably not. Well, we got one immediately. Pineco is, uh... Not so great for in-game purposes, honestly, but... In terms of competitive Pokémon, it's always been one of the really good ones, in terms of, uh, defense. It's just... It's just generally a really good utility Pokémon, with what with getting spikes and rapid spin and, uh... Oh. Oh. I see how it is. Okay, fine. Just blow up on me. Fine, see if I care. I'll oh, just so sit here. Being blown up. You dick. Well, uh, before we find another Pineco, I guess we find the super rare thing here. It's Beedrill. The final evolution of Weedle, and, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's still pretty bad. Really? Really with the five hits? I do not appreciate that. Ooh. I also wouldn't appre wouldn't have appreciated you dying. That that kinda would have sucked. Ow! That also sucked. Yes, I would like to use next Pokemon. Go bat 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 bat. Uh, uh. Oh, come on! This is why I have trust issues! S 
Stop that! Thank you! Okay. One more thing to go, and it's a thing you've already seen. Beedrill, the poison bee Pokémon. It has three poison barbs. The barb on its tail secretes the most powerful poison. Okay. You've... You... Okay. Sure. D Ralph, what is with you today? Seriously, he has called me three times while I've been, uh... While I've been headbutting trees. And none of those calls have been about a quillfish swarm! You dick! Okay, I'm gonna go heal and then catch a pinecone. First try! Alright, we are back. We are gonna throw a Pokeball immediately so that it doesn't... Hopefully it doesn't blow up on us. Yeah, I definitely didn't know that Pineco learned self-destruct this early on. That was odd emphasis, but uh, apparently that's that's what it takes to catch things at full health in a Pokeball. Pineco, the bagworm Pokemon. It hangs and waits for flying insect prey to come near. It does not move about much on its own. Okay. We're done. We are done, and we are done. Just making sure that things aren't holding anything. Gonna go deposit my mons and uh, finish getting through the damn forest. Forgot how dumb these early generation sprites were. What's wrong with them? They're not the actual Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, like what are you talking when you, about? When you, when you go oh, to like menu. the the menu sprites? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're not great. I mean, that that's kind of similar, except it has eyes. And, uh, Is that a Paris or a Beedrill? That, that, that's a Paris. It looks like a Beedrill. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the Zubat is okay, except for the eyes. Mm -hmm. Togepi is apparently a Clefairy. <laughs> Bayleaf is apparently an Oddish. <laughs> you know, well. whatever. Uh, no hidden item there? Okay, fine. Get encounter there. Okay, fine. <laughs> they just gotta give you two spaces to psych you out. It it adds a whole like five seconds to your Pokemon experience. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, we're 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 done with foresting, and now that we're done with foresting, we can talk to. Uh, yeah, you're the wrong person. We can talk to this person. And get a really bad TM! Yay, really bad TM. It's Sweet Scent. Oh, which... It's again... Way too, way too early for it to be useful. Is it ever really useful? Forgetting horde encounters in, like, Omega Ruby, yeah. Oh, I, f I forgot it could be used for that. I was gonna say, unlike in other games, this Sweet Scent is actually a field move. But, uh... So, like, if you ever do randomized things in Omega Ruby, and you use Sweet Scent to get Horde Encounters, you literally just get five different things. That's, that's a lot of things. It's so cool. Yeah. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, because I'm... I'm very, very tired of running into things that I already have. So, uh, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver, we're going to explore Route 34, I believe this is, and, uh, make our way over to Goldenrod City. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Oddish, the weed Pokémon. If exposed to moonlight, it starts to move. It roams far and wide at night to scatter its seeds.